Well, hello everybody out there and welcome to another video. So in today's video, I want to show you how to test your boxes. And by that, I want to show you how to figure out what kind of an impedance your boxes or your speakers have. And also uh, how you can test or figure out the right polarity of your speakers. Because, you know, some tips on the internet aren't really always right. So first, let's talk about the impedance, which is um, kind of like the resistance in a way. And it is important to know that because I just bought um, a receiver that gives me the ability to uh, hook up my speakers with a bare cable like this. And it tells me that if I only connect two speakers on A or B, then uh, the speakers need to have an impedance of at least 8 ohm. Otherwise, the thing will overheat. And of course, we don't want that. So I have those speakers right here. Those are our old speakers. And we can see right here, it says impedance 4 ohms. So that would be too little for um, the receiver. But... I know that I have replaced, I don't know, is it the subwoofer, whatever you might call it, but I replaced this thing. There used to be a little smaller, the original one used to be a little bit smaller, so I replaced that thing. So I don't know right now if the 4 ohms are still correct. So if I want to test that, I just take my multimeter and, you know, here we have ohm and I set it to 20 ohm right now, which is the maximum. And then I just take the cables. And by the way, I think as long, if you only test uh, the impedance, it doesn't matter which one is plus or which one is red or black or whatever. So you just put it together like this. And then you can see what it tells you. So it tells me that this one has a impedance of 6 ohm. So that isn't really enough if I want to use them on the device that needs 8 ohm. So, yeah. I don't know. Maybe it could work, but the uh, device uh, could still run pretty hot. And I also noticed that. Uh, so that's the first thing. Then the second thing is um, the polarity or whatever you might call it. Uh, basically figuring out which one of these uh, wires is plus, which one is minus. Even though it's not really plus and minus, but, you know, the polarity. And, you know, this is a speaker where the cables or the wires are coming out of the speaker. So you don't connect them yourself. This way you would know which cable you connect where. Some people might say that um, this one is minus because it has those gray marks on it. But that doesn't necessarily have to be true. So one way to test that is with the help of a battery. So you can take a normal battery like this and just put minus or what you think is minus on this side and the other one on this side and you will hear this sound now we have to go down to the to the speakers so um, this is a little bit difficult to film right now because the camera stand doesn't really do what i want it to so i have now um, the one with the gray marks on minus of the battery and the one without the gray marks on plus. So let's see what the speaker does. And you can see that that the speaker kind of moves inward when I connect it. Do you see that? Yeah. Now if I turn it the other way around, so that I'm using the one 
with um, the gray marks on plus. You can see that it's moving out. And this way you know that the one with the gray marks is actually plus, it's not minus. So there you go, this is how you can test your speakers. And I hope you liked this video. And yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.